And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Look at that break. Isn't that nice? Ugh. Oh, good old Link. God, I love Link's design. I'm sorry. I liked it better back in the Ocarina days, personally. I liked it when it was more simple. Yeah. Um. But that's just me. I like them both. Um, I liked Link's design was very simple back in the day, and I like Ocarina of Times when it's illustrated correctly. Uh huh. Uh, especially older Link and Sheik. Mm -hmm. I love all of those kind of designs. Majora's Mask had a wonderful design. Yeah, I, I, I really like, like the the more complex and intricate uh, designs of like Twilight Princess Link and this Link, whatever, whichever one this is. Well, I mean, that's the Twilight Princess design, pretty much full stop. The only thing is his hair is a little blonder than yeah. it is in that game. What the, what the hell is Yoshi doing here? So, here's the question. Do we be Link or do we be Yoshi? I mean, obviously, Link is the more stable character. We'd be more familiar p playing as him. Yeah, I mean, like, I... So we have to pick Yoshi. <laughs> I think that stands to reason. I like how Yoshi was, like... What was Yoshi doing on the path to the Master Sword? He probably just got done jacking off, and he's just taking a quick jacking it nap. W what would Yoshi jack? It's... He's a reptile, isn't he? What's your point? Reptiles, penises, uh, retract inside of them, I believe. But he lays for eggs. The, for the most part. But he lays eggs. Yeah, reptiles lay eggs. What's your point? So he wouldn't have he's a, a penis. I mean, he's a dinosaur, so... He wouldn't have a penis. What? What? No, why? Because he lays eggs. What does that have to do with anything? Because <laughs> he's not a seahorse. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't you know? Seahorse males are the ones who carry the eggs. Yes, I know that. But, I mean, they still inseminate the eggs from the woman, and then they carry it once it's inseminated. That's the only difference from them and a normal animal. Besides, most egg-laying animals, like birds, which I are the closest... I am so trying to, to do down B here. Which are the, uh... And then I hold down and you just hit A. Hit that... I, I, was... think, si I think side B works great for us. <laughs> Until you try right. to grab something. Let's see how okay. we can manage Link. It's not gonna be hard. The only the only bad part is it's not Smash Four Link. Yeah, I mean, would you stop hitting so I can screw attack him? Brawl might have the worst oh, Link tripping. of the bunch. <laughs> tripping. Why is that here again? Um, they because your fucking fanboy guy doesn't like competitive, and so when he designed the game, he, he hey, come on, we cut his he, string. He put in he put in tripping so that it became less com of a competitive game. I mean, you know, I can get behind that to a certain extent. I don't, but... because he, that means he didn't respect a certain fraction of the fan base, which liked competitive. It's, a, it's an unpleasable fan base, anyway. It's That's not, not true! It's not me, so it... Name one fucking competitive person who l looked at Smash 4 and said, I'm not pleased. We're all fucking pleased. No, there are a lot 4. of people who are pissed at Smash 4. Uh, they're, they're fucking everywhere. They're competitive and non-competitive people. But like, yes, you can't please everyone. That's not an excuse to not please anybody. Or just just cling to a niche. You know what? No, change my mind. Tripping's great. I, I support tripping 100%. <laughs> Fuck you, dude! I hate you, here. I'm cranky, and you suck! And I hate you! Tripping and was... And I forgot a... what I was gonna say this whole time. Oh, yeah. Tripping was an innovation that Smash 4 is desperately missing. And now that I've, you know, now that... You wanna go on 4chan and we can let you say this? And you know what? Now that I'm into the modding community, I'm gonna... Sure oh my god, yes! Surely someone has made a mod to put Tripping back in Smash 4. Dude, dude, that would be the best prank ever. You just put the mod, install it in your friend's Wii U, <laughs> and when they fucking play Smash 4, they're for fucking Tripping! Why not? I've seen some really bonkers Smash 4 Well, do you mods. not get online when you mod, or...? What do you mean? Like, if you have a mod on your... It, well, like, I just have cosmetic mods right now. So, like, if I do get online, it won't matter, because the other player will just see things n normally. Oh, I know, but, I mean, so it doesn't ban you from online... Play up me! Okay. No, no, it doesn't. So I could just get a mod to make myself invincible, and then... I don't think that would work. I think at that point... But, okay, so they're first-party mods. Nintendo is granting that you permission to... Do I, I don't know about that. I think it's more so just... They're turning their heads. They're looking the other way in this case. Which is not something Nintendo's prone to do, so... Maybe they're just not paying a whole lot of attention. Maybe. Maybe they're just like, maybe you know... They, they, maybe they just... They're, I mean... Right maybe now, they just have to consider that, you know... If they're doing this, they own the product anyway. 
Well, here's here's the what I my take on it. Nintendo's alienated a lot of people with their uh, totalitarian business practices when it comes to which they which let's be real here they've always had. Nintendo yeah. like back into the back into the eighties like you know Nintendo made a huge name for themselves being so like kind of. Oh my god! They took they took complete advantage like before the Sega, they took complete advantage of the fact that you know they basically monopolized oh, yeah. the business. Oh yeah, I agree. I, I mean, the N64, it's conjecture that they, uh, that they stayed with cartridges because they were harder to pirate. I did not know that. That's yeah, one, that's one of the one of the reasons that's, that that swims around mm. the interwebs. Whether the legitimacy of that rumor is not, I don't know. Just it's, a rumor. It's, it's conjecture. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's just a rumor because it's got some merit to it. Uh huh. Um, it's you're you're saying it's not just a rumor because it is true. Nintendo didn't are. outright say we want to stop pirating. Yeah, right. And that's why we're saying with cartridges. Obviously, they were going to market it. They didn't want to say that. Yeah. So they they didn't want to have a Fine Brothers situation. Exactly. So they. So I they never... said it was for faster access speeds, but let's be honest, it was more expensive to make than CDs. Um, the access speed, yes, you wouldn't have loading screens, um, but like sixty. Like 60 megabytes versus 300. I can't get in there. I can't get oh, in there if you don't get us in oh there. Oh my god! I can't get in there if there's a fucking bladed Muppet just killing me. I like how the sky darkens when you do that. Do you feel helpless right now? Not really. Okay. How about you? No, not really at all. You are you are doing very well, and I'm sorry Thank I you. ever doubted you. Anyway, dinosaurs. When did you doubt me? Dinosaurs. Okay, you might be when you said about the egg thing. You might be confusing the way fish lay eggs to the way most reptiles and and I what well, I believe. Pretty sure I'm not. Okay, shut the fuck up and hit this thing. Thank you. Oh, I love moments like that. What? Like when you just see a. When, like, game sets you up to kill a bunch of them in one fell swoop. That's why you like Devil May Cry, because... Yeah, so Devil May Cry doesn't have set pieces like that to do that, though. I mean, you're just kind of relying on your combos. Hey, we are not restricted to this area! We can keep moving! Uh, no. I'm sorry, did you, did you have the nunchuck? Shh. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> so anyway, fish! In the way I see it, I'm not a certified biologist, so I'm sure there are some fish that don't, and I'm sure I may be wrong at some point in time in this. The uh, female they, I lays feel bad about eggs. these things when you... The female lays their eggs, unfertilized eggs, all over the fucking place, right? Just jizzes them all over the place. And then dude jizzes And then the dude jacks it I mean, right on top of the eggs. I've seen Futurama, I know how this works. Okay. Now, reptiles, I believe, for the most part... and You have sharks, to mount them. Sharks are included in this. They have intercourse. They get jiggy with it. Um, and then, in turn, the reptile lays the eggs, which it would have laid anyway because that would have just been like a period, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. Why well, couldn't you be the other kind of mermaid? God damn it. With the fish half on top and the woman half on bottom. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm not even going to <laughs> give you a fucking response. <laughs> That's someone else's joke, though, right? That's from Futurama. Up B. Just up B. We'll toss an egg at it. That's from Futurama. Um, That's the... Stop the, pressing it! The characters... Uh, I'm pressing up. There we go. I don't think... Do it again. Just tap it. However long you hold it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that took us so far. So the characters, uh, for some reason, they end up in the lost underwater city of Atlanta. And all of the people who were there when Atlanta sunk uh, were mutated into fish people. God damn it, I love Futurama. Like, I love that show. Yeah? I'm glad, because it's a really fucking good show. They were mutated by uh, all the Coca-Cola. Of course! And so... Fry decided he wanted to stay because he fell in love with a mermaid woman. And when they went to go have sex, he was like, how? How, how do we, how do we? And, and she, she said, we she explained, you know, I lay my eggs and then you fertilize them. 
And then he runs away. He's like, why couldn't you have been the other kind of mermaid with the fish on top and the woman on the bottom? <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I don't think we're playing as him yet. Uh, Snake's never done it for me. I, I got a confession. I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game. And I mean, I neither really, have I. I don't really plan on it. I, I plan on it at some point. Nah. That was a bit of a short one. That so was. You want to do yep. another one in this episode? Yep. All yep. right. Let's just keep moving. I'm down. So what? Is there like 2% to every level? Because we appear to be going up by 2% every time. I don't know. Whoa, Snake got hot. <laughs> Snake was already pretty attractive. He for, was, yeah. For for what he is, you know what I mean. Samus, though, she's all right. <laughs> I I'm all behind some zero suit and some nearly naked Samus. I like Samus with the armor on, personally. I I, I don't know. It just empowers her, and I like that. Well, I it's more attractive to me to have have like with this zero suit Samus. I'm like, yes, I could do things to you. But with the other one, I'm like, yes, you could maul hundreds of people <laughs> in your sleep, and you are so much more powerful that way. I don't know. That's I, just me. The uh, good people at Dorkly... I'm just going to keep stealing everybody's jokes. Whatever. So they had they had a series called X Meets With Their Agent, and it would involve, like, various characters meeting with uh, this guy who was, yeah, an agent of some kind, and he would talk to them about how their games should go. And so, where did the other elevator go? <laughs> the one that was already there. Whoa! What yep. have you done? <laughs> I didn't even... I oh. didn't even mean to do that! Let's see if we can just... I've never seen that glitch before. I haven't either. Let's see if we can do it again, man. I don't know what you did. I pressed down on the elevator, and then I grabbed on this ledge. Because what I was trying to do is I was trying to get out of the elevator. Like that. Ah! There we go. Jeez, that's so... Ugh. And then it teleports us onto that platform. So I guess we gotta go up. I, I just wanna do it one more time. <laughs> so, anyway, there was an episode that was, uh, Sam You were gonna get, like, fucking crushed. Am I? If you hit the suit, yep. man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You moron. Enough fucking about. So, so Samus went to meet with her agent. And Samus's agent is like he's he's proposing what the what he wants to do with the first Metroid game. Okay. And he tells her, "Here's what's gonna happen: you go through the entire game in a suit of body armor, and that's what we focus on. And then at the very end, hang on, yes, yes, kill it more, kill it more. Have I shown you the Pokemon Go rap? Probably. The the Poke rap, but for Pokemon Go. I'm gonna say probably. You've seen it. I'm gonna say probably because I don't want to see it. No, it's it's a, it's a Pokemon Go rap. It's Save it for the end of the episode. No, I'm, well, I'm gonna show you. I'm you're about to force up. you're about to force me to fight them on my own. Oh shit! We're Pikachu. I didn't mean to. I'm looking up YouTube right now. So, yes, we had to drop. You can tag Pokemon Go in this episode now <laughs> for the extra views. No. <laughs> no. Please. No. <laughs> dude. Dude. It's fucking. You get like four views a video. Come on, <laughs> just once. <laughs> just fucking do it once. Get ready through that. So even if we get like fifty, that's like forty-seven more than we usually. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I love all five views that we get. I really do. I love our not fans that and are not so there. I really do. I appreciate every single one of not one of you. <laughs> so nice. That was. I, and then I'm, you I'm, fucking fuck it up! Oh. Robotic operating buddy sentry. So, anyway, Samus goes to meet with her agent. Yes. And, uh, let's do a charge B. Why? What was the accomplishment there? I, th I thought we might land on the platform afterwards. We might have. So... And her agent, like, basically is pitching the plot oh, of Oh shit, it. oh shit, oh shit. What the fuck is this? It's a, it's not set up yet. It's a Kaizo trap. It, it kinda is, to be honest. So her You can play one of those games, man. So her agent proposes to her basically the plot of the original Metroid. And then he says, and you spend the entire game in this body armor. And then at the end, we, we reveal that you're a woman. 
And then, would, thus... Would you press up B for once in your goddamn life? Thus destroying the notion that only men can be badass super characters. And she's like, wow, that's a great idea. I actually like that a lot. And he says, and then if they beat the game fast enough, they get to play as you in a two-piece. <laughs> Did it? Is that really a... Is that really a thing? In yeah. The oh, Did yeah. You press up B next time. Hey, you know, I'm pressing B every time. Oh, look, we didn't need to go through all that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just... Li no. Charge it all the way up. Our pea shooter sucks too bad. So if you beat the original Samus fast, the original Metroid fast enough, you yeah. can play as her in a two-piece? Yeah. Isn't it a leotard? No, I mean, it's a leotard at the end, but if you enter the cheat, it's a two-piece. Interesting. That's kind of... And then you stupid. And you can also uh, you can get it immediately at the start if you enter this cheat code that I don't remember, but involves the phrase Justin Bailey. Why? I don't know. People Who's have been Justin Bailey. Well, it sounds like it might be. If you were to imagine that a Bailey is a swimsuit, you could then think, oh, just in a Bailey. But according to sources, no, no one calls a swimsuit a Bailey. Oh no. The, if they multiply, our shit's wrecked. Let's get Catholic up in this bitch. No one's allowed to breed. No one, even if it's asem a asexual. <laughs> Especially not them. Goddamn asexual. No, as <laughs> asexual is in the biological term where they do not need a partner. <laughs> Thank you for specifying that. I would have never known. I didn't know! Fuck! Oh my god, is this another fucking dead end? Optional room. Uh, is this what we came here for? Well, it's not a bad reward, I guess. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> okay. Can I show you the Poké Rap? When, when the video's over, I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. I did, I did- Promise, I promise you. I'll, we'll link the YouTube video in the description. I just don't want any of it playing you. while we're playing. Oh, fine. Oh, my God. I want to respect other content creators. Oh, oh my like God. We... Okay, we'll put the link in the video description. Yeah. Okay. And we... I did manage to get... Uh, I did stick in... Uh, you when, Like you asked me to. Oh. I, I stuck uh, intermission in while I was quoting Charlie Chaplin. Who's Charlie Chaplin? Oh, I was... I quoted his speech from The Great Dictator. He's, you know... You'd recognize him if, I, if you saw him. He's, like, one of the most important actors of the 1920s. Yeah, then I He would. had a little Hitler mustache. Here's the thing. Actors. Me? Movies? What? Doesn't... It but doesn't... You, I think you'd know him because he's really iconic. Okay, name a movie he's been in. Uh, Hard Times. Never seen it. The Great Dictator. Never seen you it. You wouldn't have to have seen these movies, though. You'd have seen his face in, like, a in history what? textbook or something. Would I have? I think you would have. What's his name? Charlie Chaplin. His name sounds familiar. <laughs> he, he looks like this. Okay? This image in front of you right now? Well, oh, wow, yeah, definitely. I can totally see that. Who the fuck is Charlie Chaplin? I'm trying to move, not fans. My phone's thinking about it. I'm trying to proceed. It, it, it answered the question with the fuck in there, too, so... I'm I'm pretty happy about that. It, it literally searched who the fuck is Charlie Chaplin. It looks like it censored fuck, though. It did. My phone's polite. It has manners. No, I don't recognize him. Oh, he's... he just looks like some older guy. With a Hitler mustache, like you said. And this was before the stash was ruined that... for everyone. I mean, no, I don't recognize him. Okay, fine. No, he was this great influential actor. He did a bunch of silent films, and he had this movie where I, I already said this. He made fun of Nazi Germany, like before Nazi Germany got really bad. And he had this. I'm just like fuck it. I, I think that's a fine attitude to take. There's no shame in running when poor Samus is being controlled by two people at one time. <laughs> that was naughty. That was a. Uh, eh. I don't think it was that bad. Die! All of you I really die! I had to position myself pretty well, well there. I deserve points. Here, you get two. 
No, don't. No, don't walk on that. I'm sorry, what? You lost your two points. I am revoking your two points. Oh god, I have no confidence now. <laughs> You're so bad at this, I'm sorry. Thankfully, those enemies, those enemies you can kind of just kind of flail about and still hopefully kill them. Yeah. What? What? It goes up, and then so then that Kaizo trap has a platform there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. This is actually probably one of my oh. least favorite levels. Oh. Gotta be honest. Oh. Would you? Huh? You're lucky that platform was there because I was about to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why do these doors open in three ways? Like, watch. Like, they open three ways. That's like you mean so up, inefficient. Left and right. Yeah, up and then left and right. Like, why not just make it one slate and have it open one way? That seems to be the efficient way to do things. Well, I mean. I don't like how sci fi makes things look more sci fi than it has to be. That's why I kind of like why I like Firefly so much. Because it's a western in space? Yeah, because it, they obviously had advanced technology. You know what I mean? Uh huh. But it wasn't. I like it when advanced technology is used for mundane things. Why? I don't know. I mean, just... that's what we do in our society. Yeah, but... yeah. Like, oh, here we go. Oh, no. 186%. Someone once explained to me all of the uh, working components necessary to get a computer onto the internet. All of, like, you know, the electrons moving throughout the oh, yeah. uh, system and oh, everything. Oh, yeah, super complicated. I and after this it. long, lengthy explanation, they said, all of that so you can watch cat videos. Yeah. Why did the camera center around that? Didn't let us play yet. That is not what that looks like. Whoa. Yeah, hey, the Kaizo fall... trap's entirely different Yes, now. it fell out of the uh, other room, so now we can pass that room. Where are we? What a, is this place? In a research facility that has very moving platforms, unnecessarily uh, high-tech doors, and apparently the whole thing was powered by a Pikachu. Well, <laughs> it could, not exactly powered. I mean, Pikachu's off the thing, and it's still running. That's talking about green energy. It ain't batteries. Backup generators. Talking about organic energy, clean energy, biofuel right there. Just that's take a very, that's just a very, take a that's a very literal biofuel. Oh shit, where's the door then? I don't know. Do we have to go back down? No, yeah. probably, probably there. These, these are we going in? Are, are we going into the... well? I think. Could this? Yes, this is it. Okay. Because remember, this was the dead end. All right, yeah. So apparently, like talking about, you mentioned you've never played a uh, Metal Gear game. I haven't either, but. Uh, apparently, you want to talk about interesting mapping, um, Hideo Kojima- Would you stop hitting so I can jump? No. Holy crap! No. <laughs> anyway. Hideo Kojima wanted a really consistent scale to the original Metal Gear, and so when he made it, he, uh, all of the buildings, he constructed them with Legos If first. you don't stop fighting them right now, we're gonna get fucked. I stopped fighting them. Okay. And we can move along. You can press B to blow them up. I really don't like this level. It's pretty boring compared to what we've had. I just don't like it. Are we like... Are we press in... Press B to kill this guy. I was waiting on. I see chivalry is dead. What do you mean by that? I don't know. You need to learn to respect a woman before you can expect them to obey you. <laughs> yes, respect. That's what I don't get. Okay, this is what I don't get. Like back in school, I guess maybe in school, maybe still today, people are like, I don't hit women. I don't hit girls. Okay, I'm not gonna fight a girl. <laughs> what? I know. Just, just how like we headbutted it to that death. That was beautiful. Do you want? Did you want one of those weapons? Yes, this one. Peanut because butter jelly still, time! Peanut still. butter jelly time! What you shut up? I'm trying to go to the plan! Peanut butter jelly of a baseball bat! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly of a baseball bat! No way yet! 
Way out. No, there you go. I'm going there to you game go. over. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, now that you've successfully derailed our fucking let's play. Yes. I was talking. Okay. So, you know how, you know, people are like, oh, I don't hit, hit girls. Those. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't hit people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why? I, why? There was supposed to be, I, I never figured out good enough satire to make it work, but there was going to be an episode... Of my oh, video, a fun cutscene. Of my video game comedy series. Oh wait, never mind. This is a stupid cutscene. Anyway, go on. So there's gonna be there was supposed to be an episode of my video game comedy series in which um, Cloud from Final Fantasy. He was always a recurring character in this series. He uh, he was waiting at a bus stop, and some woman beats the ever living shit out of him for literally no reason. Like yeah. in story, there's literally no reason, and in self defense, he smacks her. And immediately the police show up and arrest him. <laughs> and then he's in court. And I think like they Is it can... on video and everything? No, no, I never made this. I, I just had... This was just an idea I had. Oh, okay. And a as he's in court, they're like, what do we do? How do we get him? How do we get out of this? And the one conclusion they come up with is, you gotta tell the judge you're gay. And if you do, <laughs> then that puts you on even ground with the woman. <laughs> That's... I mean, that's per that's that's so sad, but like, that is the way our culture sees things sometimes, and it's fucked up. All right, guys. See you on the next episode. Oh fuck yeah. Next episode.